In this video, Kevin and I are going to be trying some different candies from Frankfurt. Frankfurt was kind enough to send us a goodie box full of stuff that they are offering for Easter, and we will talk more about these things later. Uh, we will not be reviewing this just because it is a plush with uh, some peeps so we have reviewed peeps many many times but we'll talk about this in a little bit also uh, these rice krispies are marshmallow eggs marshmallow candy eggs they are in the same bag so i wanted to show you you can buy them like this plain or you can buy them in a mixed bag with strawberry and milk chocolate so we'll be trying uh, the marshmallow in this bag they also sent us a big Kellogg's Rice Krispies Marshmallow Candy Bunny, which we're going to try. We want to see if it tastes like marshmallow. And right now, this is what we're going to be making. This is a Peeps Milkshake Kit. It says marshmallow flavored milkshake mix and sprinkles. It includes the glass jar, straw, milkshake mix, and sprinkles. So Kevin is going to tell us how to make this milkshake kit. <laughs> And the other thing they didn't uh, include is they, they they say to put whipped cream on the top once you made it. We, we didn't buy whipped cream. We didn't know. We don't keep whipped cream in the house. And so that would have been, it says you will need ice, milk, and whipped cream. And whipped cream is just for us. It's just it, for decoration. Really. It's for decoration. And we didn't want to go out and spend money on just to make this when we wouldn't have used it. So there's your mix and your sprinkles. Okay. Little sprinkles. There's some straw. Um, that is a plastic straw, so it's reusable. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we can wash that and reuse it. And your cup, which... The cup, you'll probably have to tear open the box to get to the cup. I hate to do that, but... Now, <laughs> don't put it... Don't let it fall into your mouth. <laughs> And there's a paper thing in there. So how show. much? Uh, so so Tammy will wash this cup. Yes, I'm going to wash the cup. So instruction number one for me, I don't know if it's on there or not. <laughs> it, it doesn't specifically say wash the cup before you. But, it, but yeah, instruction number one for me is to wash that cup. But that is adorable. It says it peeps. Cute. It's on, a mason jar. Yes, that's very cute. Okay. So what you need to actually make the, the actual milkshake is you need the milkshake mix, of course. Three-fourths of a cup, either water or milk. So you can use either one. We're going to use milk. And you need a cup and a half of ice, which is kind of hard to measure, but, but I think I got it pretty close. So I'm just going to add it all in a blender. You do need a blender for this, though, so just keep that in mind. So you cannot make this if you don't. You cannot make this if you don't have a blender. Okay. At least they didn't mention any other way. Maybe okay. You can, maybe you can make it with like a food processor. I don't think so. Because I'm really thinking need something to chop ice. If up. you saw that milkshake kit, who can buy this? So not everyone can buy this if you don't have a blender. Right. If you don't have a blender, you won't be able to make it. Okay. So like I said, anything will crush ice. That's the biggest thing. Pour this right in there. It smells good. And I'm going to throw my ice in there. my lid on. So I washed my glass. Wow, well that amount fills it all the way up. So had we bought whipped cream, I don't know where we would have put it. It's right on top. <laughs> because that literally filled that all the way up. So, normally you would put your whipped cream on and then put your sprinkles on top of your whipped cream. Since we're not doing whipped cream, and keep in mind, like Kevin said, you could have put used water instead of milk. So, we're going to put our sprinkles in here like this. I'm using them all because I want it to be as festive as possible. And we're going to put our straw in just like that. So I have a cheat sheet from Frankfurt as well, and you can be taking a drink if you want while I read this to you. Press release. It's a press release, yes. It says, Peeps Milkshake Kit has everything needed to make a Peeps-inspired marshmallow-flavored milkshake, including the milkshake mix, sprinkles, a glass jar, and a plastic straw. This 3.56 ounce kit will be available at Walmart, Target, stores nationwide so if you want to buy it at walmart and target i know for sure i've seen it at walmart but i think other people have spotted it at target so let's talk about calories because that's what we do the milkshake mix 
it, if you prepare it with non-fat milk, it's 480 calories. Might as well use water. At that and point. the sprinkles are um, 20 calories, just for, for those package. sprinkles, huh? Why? What did you say about water? I said you might as well use water if you can use non-fat milk, skim milk. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> we, well use water. we use two percent, so yeah. ours is going to be more, probably more like 500 calories for this. But it's a big size milkshake. Yeah, it's not bad. Did you think it tasted like marshmallow? I'm gonna wait till you take a drink before I say anything. Oh, I think it does. It tastes like marshmallow. It tastes more vanilla than marshmallow, but it definitely has a marshmallow kick to it. And I immediately want to go in for more. Yeah. It reminds me, honestly, of a... Um, it's kind of a cross between a birthday cake flavor and a marshmallow flavor mm -hmm. put together. No. It's very sweet. It's very good. Now, it depends on the blender. Now, I do have to say, this that Ninja blender zips it up the ice. Like, I didn't hear the ice getting crushed up, and it's perfect. Yeah. It's a little thinner than I probably would have liked it. I would have liked it a little more icy and So you chunky. wouldn't blend it as much? I would have just blended it as long. I just hit the smoothie button and it did its own thing. Mm -hmm. um, I would have probably just pulsed it and waited until the ice just broke up. and then Because it's not very thick. It's more right. like flavored milk at this point. No, but I like it. I do like but, it, but I'm just saying that's up to your blender completely. Nothing to do with the Right, because we've had cheaper blenders that when you put ice in them, they've actually smoked. Yeah, they just I mean, lock up. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't like the ice at all. So that Ninja blender is actually yeah. nice. Not bad for the Ninja blender, but I can just say it tears through ice like no one yeah. does. Yeah, we've never had one like this. And yeah. and it was we didn't buy it. Ashley bought it, so it was hers. Um, I don't think, I think they're telling you you need whipped cream. I think if you buy the whipped cream, you, unless you're making uh, two cups, then you're gonna wait. You're, it's gonna be a waste because there's not enough room in here. For it's the gonna be able to just get a little bit of swirl. Yeah, so I would not buy whipped cream, especially for this. You can see we did not miss it at all. It's just like um, it's, just it's just like a cherry on top. It's yeah. really not gonna uh, matter. It's just for looks. And I think that's delicious, and I love the cup. You yeah, get the to cup's keep really cute. The cup. Yeah. yeah, it would be interesting to know how much these cost because. They are giving you, you can technically, you can keep the straw and you can keep that cup forever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is, you know, something you can use every year. Yeah, kids would enjoy drinking out of this just as their chocolate milk cup or whatever. Right. You know, at the end of the day or when they come home from school or whatever. Well, since we've done the marshmallow drink, let's do this. Yep. This is the marshmallow candy bunny. And let me find it on here. Ah, here. It, they're calling it a rabbit, not a bunny. I called it a bunny. I'm, uh, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Well, it says bunny on the, bo the box. Oh, okay. Well, in the press release, they called it a rabbit. So, okay. Rabbit bunny. That means two different people did the packaging and the marketing. Oh, uh, yeah, clearly. <laughs> uh, Kellogg's Rice Krispies Marshmallow Candy Rabbit combines creamy marshmallow flavored candy with original Rice Krispies cereal and a rabbit shape for a crispy, crunchy treat. It comes in a five ounce individual size and will be available at Target and Meyer stores nationwide as well as online at Amazon. Let me tell you a little something about My uh, Meyer. Meyer doesn't have a ton of this stuff out right not now. Not ours, at least. No, I don't know what's happening, uh, but they do not have like special stuff like this out yet. Don't know why. Uh, it says uh, about five servings per container, one fifth package, 28 grams is 150 calories. You can see the rice krispies all in the back. I actually really like that white. It's probably not white chocolate, but it's a white coating or whatever. And it's it really tastes nice. like marshmallows. Mm, it's a very nice flavor. Mm -hmm. It reminds you of a uh, um, rice krispie treat. Except it's sweeter. Except it's sweeter. It is mm -hmm. sweeter. And it's not all sticky. If you like this, this is, see, this is my dream. Mm -hmm. It's good. Of a, of a Rice Krispie Treat. If you like the flavor of a Rice Krispie Treat, but you've all, always wanted less cereal and more sweet, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because really good. you're getting all that sweetness from um, that marshmallow flavoring, mm -hmm. and it has plenty of cereal in it. Oh yeah, you get, get the crunch. Plenty, but it's not as compact as a Rice Krispie mm -hmm. Treat. And so, it's and like, argh. yeah, so that I love that. Mm -hmm. It's very good, very, very like, like it's over the top sweet for me, but I it's love good, it. Good marshmallow flavor, too. It actually tastes like a marshmallow, not just vanilla. So, I bet you anything, these are gonna oh, taste the same thing. just like that. Well, yeah. we'll see. So, this is the Rice Krispies candy eggs. Let me get this on this list. 
Uh, yes. Well, uh, Kellogg's Rice Krispies candy eggs are crispy, crunchy, half inch milk chocolate or flavor candy eggs made with popular Kellogg's Rice Krispies mm. flavors. Marshmallow, strawberry, and milk chocolate. They will be available in either a 16 ounce variety pack that features all three flavors or the nine ounce marshmallow only bag. So they're not selling bags of just strawberries, just chocolate. It's either marshmallow or you get all three. Um, perfect uh, for fans of the iconic Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats. The assorted candy eggs will be available at Walmart stores nationwide. So you're only gonna be able to get the, the big bag, which makes sense, it's Walmart. Um, <laughs> The marshmallow only version will be available at Target and CVS. So Target and CVS is not gonna get that so interesting. Okay. The blue one is the vanilla. I mean the marshmallow. You wanna try that first? Sure. And I don't know if you wanted to split one or get your I don't own. know. Let's see. Let's see, see if you can bite it in half. And if yeah. you can't. If we don't get enough flavor, we'll take another bite. Enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you can see a few rice krispies in there. Not as many as in the the bunny. No, you definitely get the, the texture though. Mm -hmm. And that's really all you're looking for is a little bit of texture. I like the egg. I like the bunny more. I do too. The bunny was... I, mean, I do like the flavor of that. I do. Right yes, the flavor, I think for some reason it came across as a little sweeter. I'm sure it's the same thing. It's exactly, you know it's exactly. Same thing in a different shape. But I like the thinner, the texture of the bunny because it's easier to eat than the egg. Yeah, you can almost lay it on your tongue and let it melt. Yeah. Well, you could the egg too, but it would it's just not as easy. That the red ones are strawberry. Okay. But now I do like um I do like the egg. The chocolate's good, but to be fair, it, it tastes like any chocolate egg you'd get. Mm -hmm. It it's, really does. I it's mean, okay it's, chocolate. It's, yeah. It reminds you of... Um, it's your traditional Easter uh, basket chocolate. Crunch bar or something like that. Yeah, a, Nes a Nestle Crunch bar is... is it yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. Yeah, because it has those pieces in it. But it's nice. It's, yeah. it's just... There's nothing wrong with it. I actually like the black ones better. <laughs> the marshmallow ones. Strawberry is really nice. I'm not getting the strawberry yet. It takes you a second, but it you'll get there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes it's, a little while to develop. Yes, it, it, it like doesn't develop right away. It kind of like builds. But once it's there, it's there, and it's a very, very, mm -hmm. very strong strawberry. Yeah, and it's very, very sweet. Yeah, and it's um, a different strawberry than like a strawberry milk, chocolate milk. Strawberry milk. It's a. It's slightly different than that. It's not uh, quite as creamy, I don't think. But but the it's sweetness. Not. It's like all of this is over the top yeah, sweet. It, it really is. is. It says uh, the Peeps Flower Power Bunny gift set features a plush rainbow bunny with a flower headband and four pink Peeps marshmallow bunnies. No, it's the, got a headband in there. Yeah, it's uh, this. Oh, that. It, this with, the bunny with a bunny band. with a headband. I got it. Yes. Um, this 1.5 ounce gift set will be available at Target stores nationwide as well as online at Amazon and at frankforcandy.com. So Target, if you don't have a Target, you're going to have to get it from Amazon. But we, um, we have three grandchildren. So uh, uh, one of our grandchildren will definitely be gifted with that. Um, it's quite but cute. yes, it's a very very cute, and uh, they will absolutely love it. As well as these eggs. If you're wondering, well, what are you going to do with those eggs? Well, the grandkids will get a nice a nice goodie bag. We can't give them the milkshake. Though. Can't give them the milkshake. <laughs> so if you were to buy, we've got a milkshake. We've got a. We've got a bunny. The milkshake is so specialized though, so I can't really include that because it's a one shot and it's done. And you have to have a blender. And you have to have a blender. So if you don't have a blender or some way to chop up ice and mix it together, then you can't do but it. But that's the only way it tells you to make it is yeah, with a blender. blender. So I mean, I guess if you had uh, uh, crushed ice uh, in your refrigerator, you could chop ice that way. You could mix it up in a whatever. But you would have to know that on your own. Yeah, you'd have to know that on your own. Because they're not telling They specifically you that. say blender. Mm -hmm. um, 
The item I would get is actually the bunny. That's me. All day long, I find that bunny, the texture of it, the thinness of it. I mean, it's not thin, but it's thinner, it's thinner than, than the, the eggs. eggs. Yeah. And the flavor is terrific. Mm -hmm. So if you've tried just like a white a white chocolate rabbit and you think this one's not going to be different, it is it different. Is. It does it, have a little bit of a marshmallow. It does, flavor. absolutely. If I didn't have that or if I didn't want all of one thing, I would definitely get the mixed bag. Because it's nice to have a it's mixture. Nice. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't buy us. Well, I would get a single bag of just the marshmallows, maybe, because I really do like the marsh, just the white ones, the blue package. Right. The I really do like those, but I wouldn't get a whole bag necessarily of the strawberry or the chocolate ones. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think they made a really nice, yeah. uh, smart decision. Yeah. But the multi pack is really good. So, if you were to pick one of these, which one are you picking? Are you picking the plain bag? Are you picking the bunny? Are you picking the milkshake? Would it ha which one are you choosing for your Easter? You don't have to have kids to enjoy no, buying treats like this for yourself. Definitely not. So, I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.